Today, Friday, and Shabbos are two days where we celebrate Rosh Chodesh Adar, the beginning of the month of Adar, the start of the month of joy, as we are taught in Shulchan Aruch, in Code of Jewish Law, Mishenichnas Adar, Marbin Besimcha, from when the month of Adar comes in, we increase in joy. So, we increase in joy. We start smiling to ourselves, to each other. A very powerful message, a message of joy, a message of Simcha Poretz Geder, joy that breaks through all barriers. How do we achieve that? How can I be commanded to a mitzvah in the Torah to be happy and when the month of Adar comes in, and if I'm not happy, how do I make it happen? One of the ways of making it happen is by thinking about the other versus thinking about oneself. Exactly. About putting my agenda on the side and putting the agenda of my neighbor, of fellow human being of the world that God has created and wants me to be part of it and wants me to contribute to the betterment of it. And that brings joy. Which brings me to the concept of inclusion, the concept of no difference, no barriers, the Torah is not for one over another and not for the more privileged or the less privileged, but everyone is equal. The Torah belongs to everyone and everyone needs to contribute. This month, the Jewish world celebrates, concentrates, meditates, puts an emphasis on Judaim, month known as Judean month, the month of inclusion, the month of thinking about the, about the other and about what unites us, what is beyond what separates us. The parasha of today, the Jewish people have just received the Torah at Mount Sinai. Very powerful. We all heard from God the commandments, the first two, and from Moses the following eight. Everyone is inspired at the high. Hashem is telling Moshe, these are the laws that you should put before them. You should put the laws before them in their presence. Lifnehem, in the presence, in Hebrew also, has the word of panim, the face, and pnim, which means internally. Lifnehem, put it, internalize it in them, in the Jewish people. Moshe Rabbeinu is commanded to internalize the Torah, to bring the Torah inside each and every one of us. How does he do it? So Rashi comments and says, Asher tasim lifnehem, you should put it before them, not just teach it to them once and twice and three times and done. I've done my job. I, I, I've, I gave my message. Asher tasim lifnehem, Rashi says, you should put it in front of them. Keshulchan he'aruch umuchan le'echod lifnei ha'adam. Set the table for them that the person should be ready to come and have the meal, a ready meal, right in, in front of them. Prepare the table, set the table, bring the food, make it ready for them to eat. Obviously, we're not the same. And that's the message that Hashem is giving Moshe right after the giving of the Torah. Parashat Mishpatim, put it, pay attention to the details. To the detailed individual. Not everyone has the same ears. 
Not everyone has the same capacity of understanding. Not everyone has the same feelings. Put it, internalize it in them. Individualize it to each one. The same Torah for everyone. We also read in one of the three Torah, Torahs, Torah readings of this week. We're going to take out three Sifrei Torah. One for the regular Shabbos, Mishpatim. One for Rosh Chodesh. For the beginning of the month. And one special reading, Parashat Shkalim. Which is the first of four special, unique readings around Purim and Pesach. Yes, Pesach is around the corner. Looking outside here, yes. Parashat Shkalim is about the count of the Jewish people. Each one was counted by giving half a shekel for the daily offerings. Half a shekel each. Then they counted the shekels and they know how many Jewish people we have. Why half a shekel and not a whole shekel? Our sages elaborate and the Rebbe emphasizes it so beautifully that everyone needs to realize that me without the other, I'm only half. I am, but a half. Meaning, I count. It's not that I don't count. I do count, but I'm only half because I need to be inclusive of the other person. And everyone needs to count. Everyone needs to give the half a shekel. The wealthy and the poor. The wealthy in mind, the wealthy in knowledge, the wealthy in feelings, the wealthy in mitzvot, the wealthy spiritually, physically, and the poor in all above. Everyone equally needs to give half a shekel. Everyone is and, and, and belongs to the Torah and the Torah belongs to everyone. And that's how we approach Purim. And that's how we approach Pesach. And that's how we approach Judaism as a whole and that's how we are happy why because it's not about me it's not about me alone it's not about my feelings alone it's about the feelings of everyone else around me and about inclusiveness and when we are all together Haverim Kol Yisrael as we say in the blessings of the new month when we are friends and Chibur and united then it's lesason or simcha lishua or nechama. Then we'll merit a month of gladness and joy, and um, salvation, comfort, and so on and so forth. Good, good chodesh, good month, good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom, and a happy month and a healthy above all. Thank you.